Using the right icons can make our applications not only better looking, but also more intuitive. Inline SVGs are safe, sharp, and easy to customize, but they tend to ruin our markup and make it less pleasant to navigate. Not only that, but they are also harder to reuse, because 1. You cannot really know which icon is which, unless you figure out from the surrounding markup, or by refreshing your browser. And 2. Whenever you want to change such icon, you have to find and replace all the occurrences in your app, which isn't that nice. There are two solutions that solve this problem. One is to install a Vue SVG loader that will allow you to import SVG files directly and treat them as individual components. The downside is that you have to import each individual icon and you end up with many different component names. The second option, and the one I personally like to use, is to create a single icon component that holds all the SVGs and shows the correct one based on a name prop. Let me show you how it works. So we'll go to our share directory here and create an icon view component. Enter the template and script. Now this component will receive name as a prop. And based on this name, we will display the correct SVG. So if we go back to show mailbox here, we can grab this one that is inbox and put it here. We'll remove the classes because the classes will be entered directly on the component and say if name equals inbox. And now we can use the new component here. So icon name inbox. And let me import that real quick. Icon from shared icon. And let's use it here. Now let's also add in the classes I deleted. If we go back and refresh our page, the icon is here. And we can do the same for the others. So let's grab this one, which is bookmarks, and do the else if name equals bookmarks. And let's add in the bookmarks icon here. Let's also do the same for the last one, which is replies. Or let's see how it looks. Yeah. Let's just say archive. It's more suitable, I think. Go here. Copy this part. Say archive. And go back and refresh. Yeah, the, icon, the icons are still there. So that's pretty much it. Whenever I need to add a new icon, I can just continue to add them here. And whenever I need to change one icon, I can just replace this code and keep the, the conditional here. Another thing you can do to avoid having to import the icon all your components is to register it globally so we can remove this right here go to app just say view component icon and require the component file so we can do this shared icon and default and now it should still work. So indeed it does. Yeah, so this way you don't have to manually import the component everywhere you need to use it. That's it. That's how I manage icons in my Vue.js applications.